I want to drink. A toast to your arrival. Fun with electricity! All right, guys, here is my full Halloween animatronic collection. Um, they were all messy from Halloween when um, we brought them back here. And I set them all up, put them all up nice, and I just finished. Here they are. I'll give you a little tour. First up here, just got this hanging pumpkin guy, and then we've got the harvester. He's not tall because he doesn't have his stake because he just bounces better like this. Um, I'm getting a Count Vigor, so that's going to be going right here. Um, I just need a response from the seller. They were talking to me before, so I'm definitely going to be buying that. I'm also going to be getting a Dead Eye Drake. I don't know where I'm going to put him because there's not much room. But yeah, Count Vigor's going to go there. We got the Face Ripper. We got a tombstone down there that actually lights up red. And then we've got this Rising from the Grave uh, skeleton. And we've got either 2008 or 2009 Jason. Let's go look at the box. I wonder if it says. I uh, can't really get to it right now, the way I put those up. Um, but yeah, that's either 2008 or 2009. And um, his glove is off right now, which was a pain, by the way. Like, so hard to take off because uh, the zip tie was actually broken in the wrong spot. And we got another zip tie. But it wasn't long enough to go through the hand. Because it has to go through these two holes here. And come out these two. That's why a lot of the swords are flimsy on there. Probably because the zip tie's not on right. Or it broke. So that's what I'm doing right now. I had to make these holes bigger for a normal zip tie to fit in. Because the uh, original one is a really thin black one. Um, which probably break all the time. So if your Jason sword is flimsy and stuff. That's why. Um, even if it is connected to a zip tie, the zip tie might be broken or not attached to the hand. But yeah, um, I'm getting a longer zip tie, so that should work. I had to, um, use a knife to, like, make these holes bigger so the zip tie would fit, because it's a normal size one. But yeah, that's him. Over here we got some, uh, corn stalks, and we have the swinging scarecrow. Uh, he's pretty cool. Um... I don't remember when I got him. I think it was 2017 at Spirit. Yeah. Or 2000. I think it was 2000. Yeah, 2017 at Spirit. Um, He wasn't there that year. That was the year after, I think. But yeah, they still had one. So I got that for my birthday. And then um, Guardian of the Grave here. Uh, He's... I, I don't really like him because... Every single one, it's just a bad prop. It goes up and then it like turns, so it's not facing the front. Uh, I don't like that about it. Um, here's my 2010 Demonica. Um, that's her face. Um, she is fully working except for she goes all the way up, and then um, she tries to lift her head up, but it, she can't. So you gotta help it up. I just detach the wire in the back because I honestly don't really care if the head lifts up. It looks um, good like that. Oh, and there's a little pumpkin over there, by the way. And, um, moving on, we have Lurching Vampire right here. Um, he's pretty cool. And then up here, we've got this disco skeleton guy, just some random stuff I had. Skeleton bird, another, like, motorcycle skeleton. So, yeah, they're there. Uh, this is from Lowe's, uh, 2017 and 2018. Uh, I got her this Halloween. Uh, it was the last one they had, actually. It was a store display. But it works perfectly. And then I've got the Howler, which just broke, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go in and fix that, see if the motor's running. I just can't do it right now. I'll probably do it, um, no, I can't do it on Sunday either. Dang. I have to find a time to fix him. Uh, 2015 Moonshine Barrel Zombie. I got him from Spirit, uh, 
2015. Uh, last day of the store was open. Got a really good deal on him. Don't remember how much, but I didn't keep the box because I wasn't that educated back then. I wasn't that um, grown up. Um, then we got this huge um, hanging skeleton from a uh, pottery barn. My grandma got me this. Um, yeah, a few years ago. Got a tombstone back there. Um, got the Forgotten Farmer from Spirit. And this stack of skulls I think I got from Target. I'm not sure. And then there's a severed head with a chain. Um, the seller gave me that with Jason. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is like a mini butler thing. His eyes are burnt out or there's a loose wire, but it doesn't really matter much to me. That's just the... <laughs> battery thing for lurching vampire because i wrote that on there because um you have to take them out when you it's not being used because it'll suck the uh energy out of the batteries even when it's not turned on so that's him i just put some plastic food on his tray um and this is all my boxes oh yeah and there's these two um rising from the graves i think these are not rising from the graves they were made by jemmy uh sold at menards uh 2017 i think I still have the tags on them there. Uh, these are the only ones that are sold, the skeleton and the witch. I like the witch. But they are really, <laughs> really poor quality. They're just the plastic. I don't know. I like old Jimmy stuff, you know. It's just not the same. Like, if you think about um, the old um, Grave Rising uh, witch thing that moved its mouth and stuff and move, moved its head up and down, like, this is cheaper, crappy version of that. <laughs> It just shows what Jemmy has turned into. And yeah, there's a skeleton one. His mouth doesn't move. It just is like that. Uh, eyes lit up on both of these, too. Uh, and it's got opposable arms. I put those arms like this. It's actually my brother's, and he's seven years old. So he put the arms like that, because that's how he likes it. <laughs> this is my brother's, too. He got it for his birthday. I could have got one, too, but, you know, what's the point? To put him up here on the boxes um i'm not particularly sure what this is called oh yeah one of his hands um broke off and my brother asked my mom to fix it and then she put it on this way instead of that way so yeah his eye lights up too so these are all the boxes we've got lurching vampire box and if you didn't know it's got a try me button here and also this is the all of the my techie toys props have the Techie Toys box. So, like, it's the Techie Toys box, not the Spirit box, which is kind of cool. So, on the Techie Toys box, it has this thing right here, and his face is supposed to be see-through there, and you press the button, and he opens his mouth and opens his eyes and um, says his stuff. So, I think that's kind of cool. I'm not sure. If, I don't think that's how it is on the Spirit box, so this box might be more rare. Let me know. Um, Harvester, this is the Spirit box. Um, by the way, I got... um. The Harvester from uh, buycoolstuff.com. Pretty sure he's still on there. Um, also, I got Guardian of the Grave from there, too. They did have Lurching Vampires, but um, they sold out. So, yeah. I got this guy um, off of Craigslist in 2017, along with 2010 to Monica. There's this guy that um, he actually worked for Techie Toys. Um, he was the guy who was selling them to us. So, yeah. Uh, Forgotten Farmer's Box. Uh, this is Jason's box. Not sure, 2008 or 2009. It's kind of hidden back here, but I can show you the side. It's in pretty bad condition. The person that sold this to me, she put so much duct tape all over it. And it's just like, the box must have been falling apart or something. But, yeah. This is Face Reaper's box. Um, it says down here, uh, Sam's. So I'm pretty sure, yeah. Distributed by Sam's West Incorporated. So yeah. Um, there's no price on this or anything. That's all the information that's on it. It does not say which year, actually. Uh, I looked all over it when I first got it. It does not say the year. Pretty sure it's 2009, though. Let me know. This is Jason's glove here. Again, like I said, it's really hard to get back on. I might have to cut it. Because <laughs> this is the Velcro part right here. And yeah. And here is 
Oops. Jason's machete. Pretty cool. Yeah. And this is all in my basement, by the way, of my mom's house. Her house is pretty small. But there's no place in my dad's basement because he has a bunch of boxes and stuff. So it's all on this wall in the basement. So yeah, I think it looks really cool. And let me go ahead and demo each one for you guys. All right, I'm not gonna activate the harvester because I have them up against the wall here. I'd have to hold them up and show you guys. It's not worth it. Plus his um batteries are dead. And um, not sure if she if he um completely works because his mouth tends to stop working in the cold and I had him out there all night on Halloween um but I have to get the extension cords down here then I will demo face ripper for you. hey who goes there do you think your Halloween costume is really scary I bet mine is even scarier here let me show you <laughs> So that is Face Ripper. I got him um, uh, this summer from uh, from this lady for sixty bucks. It's Jason. Well, he doesn't have his sword or his glove, so. I have to fix his body. Not even trying anymore, so. I mean, the uh, body tennis is trying, not me. <laughs> his eyes do move too. So yeah, um, if anybody knows an easier way to get inside of his um, body, because the body turn mechanism is in here, and the only way that I know of right now is to cut open it, because um, it's, it's just this big um, plastic frame, um, I would cut it open in the back and then probably zip tie it back together, but if anyone knows how to get inside of there easier, please let me know in the comments, it would be appreciated. Here's my rising from the grave uh, skeleton. You need to put a weight on the back of him because he always moves. Also, his head is broken. This is plastic, but there's styrofoam on the inside that it was glued to, and that just broke off. So, yeah. I'll do him one more time so you guys can see how far he jumps, actually. like. I'm not doing it now, that's good. <laughs> but before, when you get new batteries in him, he actually like moves. Like I had him set up for Halloween, and he was like halfway across the driveway. <laughs> so yeah, that's him. I got him from buycoolstuff.com. I think that's what the, I think that's what the website's called. It's my guardian of the grave. The floor machine isn't hooked up because I'm in my basement. Looks like he might need some new batteries. He's going up pretty slow. Maybe I just don't remember how slow he goes up. Yeah, he needs some new batteries. So that's him. I got my Guardian of the Grave from buycoolstuff.com so yeah check their website out they actually have um some techie toy stuff that isn't in stores not sponsored by the way this is the swinging scarecrow um his mouth works on and off but fun fact he actually doesn't have an on and off switch um so once you plug him in it's just that sensor right there it's 
really good job hiding it. He's made by YJ. I never understood people until I took one apart to see how it worked. <laughs> yeah, he's a really cool prop. I really wanted him. So I'm glad that I got him. Um, yeah, I got him for a pretty cheap price at Spirit. Uh, my mom got him for me for my birthday. Um, I think last year. See what I got here? It's the straw that broke the father's back. Come closer and let's see how it works on you. <laughs> yeah, his mechanism, it really smells. Like, it smells like metal and grease. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but he's a cool prop. One of the very few YJ props that doesn't have a um, uh, upward moving mouse, which is good. <laughs> so this is my Demonica. Um, her head isn't going up because I just detached the wire from the back because um, when it is attached, you just have to help her lift her head up. And yeah, I just like it like this better. I don't think there's really a fix for it. Could just be a weak motor, but I'm not replacing it because it doesn't really matter to me. I can turn her on. She's still really cool. I like to have her hair in her face like that. In real life it looks better than on the camera. Her, her head works great and everything. The latex is a little bit ripped on there. It's actually latex, but the face is plastic. Here's my lurching vampire. He's really quiet. Um, not sure why. Uh, might just be a bad speaker or something, but he's always been like that ever since I got him. But yeah, here he is. A lot of them do that, where their head goes up like that. <laughs> it kind of looks weird, but that's just how it goes. I don't think it's supposed to be designed to be like that. One of the really cool things I like about this prop is that it opens its mouth and its eyes. You don't see that with much props. The opening eyes, like, that's pretty unique. Yeah, and there's just a lever in there that opens them at the same time. And I also got, I got him with 2010 Demonica. Um, he was, I believe, yeah, he was 50 bucks, Demonica was 40. From, I got him off of Craigslist from this dude. This is my Howler. Um, like I said before, he is broken. Um, he no longer goes up and down. Um, I might need to replace the motor, because I don't hear it. I'm just gonna open it up and see if it's still going, but I don't have time to do that right now. More like I don't wanna do it right now. So that's why I'm doing this instead, organizing all this and making a video about it. So here he is. Sorry for the washing machine, by the way. That's kind of annoying, right? <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. See if I can turn them on. Oh, um, the previous owner painted these eyes. I think they glued like, the eyeballs back in or put like ping pong balls in there because the eyeballs fell out or something. But I don't know. A lot of painting is rubbed off and the teeth are like hairy. So that's kind of gross, but <laughs> yeah. They also rigged up this m really good motion sensor. Um, so yeah, I can use that. Um, when I fix it, I can use it for Halloween. So yeah, he's already plugged in. I'm just gonna turn him on his normal sound setting because I don't need to use that motion sensor. Yeah, like you said, no longer goes up and down. Still does everything else just fine.
force it up either, so. That's him. Really good mouth movement from him. I really like him. Um, I have the Spirit Halloween 2012 magazine. By the way, I'm going to be making videos of those magazines. I have all of them except for um, 2011. I don't think they made one for 2010, but I think there's one for 2011. I don't have that one. I have 2012 through 2013 because they stopped making them in 2013. That was the last one. Oh my god, I swear, this is the loudest washing machine ever. I'm just gonna wait. There we go, it's getting a little quieter. Alright, so this is the Lowe's 2017 and 2018, I believe. I'm not sure about 2017, but I think so. Uh, Floating Girls, Ghost Girl, they brought these back, which is pretty cool. I really like it. I like the face a lot. Her hands are like thin skeleton hands. Her activation actually goes on for a really long time. I really like the detail in this. In the face and the this right here, like there's one layer, but then there's another layer on top of it that's this stuff, this creepy cloth stuff. It's cool, it really makes you look like a, a bride or something. So that's cool. This is the Moonshine Barrel Zombie from 2015 Spirit Halloween. Uh, I got it at 2015 at the end of the year, so I think I got it for a pretty good price, but I don't really remember. You gotta wait for it to reset, go through this reset thing. There we go, now it's reset. Um, this is a really good prop actually, like it's all made of metal. Um, it's a really good mechanism, super hardy. I had it on all Halloween night, activating nonstop, and it still works perfectly like new. So yeah, here he is. I got a hot glue that uh, Velcro back on. Yeah, it's really cool. All the lighting and stuff too. It's just a really nice prop. Here is a Forgotten Primer from Spirit Halloween 2018. Um, it actually moves his eyes, which I was really surprised when I saw the sneak peek for this because I'm like, what? A prop that's moved its eyes? I haven't seen this since Jemmy was big. So yeah, it's really cool. It moves his mouth and its eyes, so it's really awesome. It's actually got two modes. It's got a scary mode and a funny mode. So I'm going to turn them on both for you guys. All right, guys, I can't show you this one. Um, it needs new batteries. I forgot. I had it on all Halloween. So yeah, it was running out of batteries. Um, and yeah, but um, I will come out with a video on that as long as any other thing that I didn't do a demo or review of. Uh, moving on, uh, we're going to skip the stack of skulls since it's not really an animated thing. It just plays music and all the skulls blink its eyes. I mean, not blink. They, the red lights flash in their eyes. This is, um, I don't really know what company. Um, probably Panagen Creations. Um, his charmy button is off. Now it's just a, a paper or glue still left on there, I mean. But yeah, his LEDs are either burnt out or a loose wire. I hope you will be hanging around for a very long time. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's one of the first things that I got that really got me into this. We also have alternate menus for your dining pleasures. Brains topped with eyeballs. <laughs> Not really sure when this came out. I could look, but I'm not going to right now. 
Um, but yeah, that's him. This guy's also gonna need some new batteries. Sorry, it's all from Halloween. I haven't replaced the batteries yet. But that's basically what it does. So yeah, he's cool. Um, next up, we've got these two 2017 Grave Risers by Jimmy. Um, here is the witch. I'm gonna wait. All right, next up are the Grave Risers 2017. Um, here's the witch, Sir Button. Oh, here's your tag, by the way. It's a Pumpkin Hollow brand. That's the um, Menards brand of Halloween stuff. I don't know why it says that. Do witches really read fortunes? <laughs> I believe she has one more phrase, but I'm not going to play her again. You guys can um, look for these guys on my channel. I have a video of them. This guy only has one phrase. I'm really sorry about that noise. Literally right before I start filming this video, my mom comes down here and puts all the laundry in there and starts it. I'm like, really? Is my full Halloween room everything all of my stuff um, except for a few tabletops which are at my dad's house um, I'm pretty sure I made videos of all of them except for my uh, ghost face plaque with the knife I'm not sure if you guys know that um, I'll make a video about that um, in the near future so you guys thank you for watching and if you have any questions please comment down below um, anything that I said I might need help with in this video, it would be really helpful if you could comment down below and answer my questions. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one.